Hi guys, it's Kate here from dudehack.com and today I'm going to be running through 15 ways to celebrate a long distance relationship anniversary. Long distance relationships are difficult at the best of times. Even a nothing special day can be tough. Feeling too far away from each other, feeling lonely and disconnected from the person you love, it's hard. Throw in an anniversary, a day that should be extra special and exciting and definitely spent together and you've got a recipe for the blues. But it doesn't always have to be that way. And just before we move into how to combat this, a little reminder, my name is Kate from DudeHack.com, a website that is all things dating. Make sure you check out our dating app quiz, which is gonna tell you what dating app is best suited to you. You'll find the link in the description box below. And do please consider subscribing as it tells the algorithm that you wanna see more of me and Steve and we can keep making more videos. So this video sits a little closer to my heart because I have been in this exact situation. A long distance anniversary might never quite live up to an in-person one, but it can still be really fun, moving and special, I promise. There are loads of ways to celebrate together that will make the distance seem smaller and keep the flame alive until you are reunited. All you need is a little bit of planning, some compromise and some creativity. Even though this day is about you as a couple, you still want to prioritize yourself in the run up to it, especially if you haven't had a long distance relationship anniversary before. Prepare for the day to be different from your expectations. You might be sadder than you thought, or you might not be sad at all. Give yourself a bit of emotional leeway and plan some things that will maybe cheer you up generally, like your favorite breakfast or an extra long lay-in. Arrange to see your best friend or family so that in the moments that you aren't talking to your partner, you're not just sitting there dwelling on your anniversary that could have been. And if you can't actually communicate with your partner on your anniversary and you know that it will probably get you down, be sure to fill your day with distractions. Make plans with your friends, book yourself in for a massage or go to the movies, anything that will help get you out of your own head. So how do you celebrate your long distance anniversary? What can couples do together long distance? Despite the potential for a little sadness. It should be a happy day and I am going to run you through some of the best long virtual anniversary celebration ideas and I promise they'll put a positive spin on the situation and make it even super fun. Starting at number one, cook together. This is super fun and a super sweet date idea. The idea is simple. You both cook the same meal from scratch. Choose a meal that is special to you as a couple, your classic favorite or something you ate once at a memorable time, maybe your first date. Set each other up on a video call in the kitchen and follow the recipe together. If you want, you could even go as far as grocery shopping for all the ingredients while that you're on the phone or FaceTime. I used to do things like this all the time. Once a meal is cooked, eat together. And if you want, you can do the whole shebang. Candles, a glass of wine, nice outfit, fancy table setting, super romantic. Number two, a movie date. Maybe this is an obvious one, but it's a classic and a great date idea, I think. Think of little ways to make it special. Watch a movie you both love or really want to see. Order your favorite takeout and eat it together or buy all your favorite movie snacks. If you watch the movie on a laptop with headphones, you can have a video call at the same time and you'll be able to chat through the movie without the audio messing up. Otherwise, you can text during and video call after, chat through your thoughts on the movie and let the conversation flow into the night. Number three, make a video for your partner. Have you got a computer, got iMovie or any other basic editing software, got average to good computer skills, you can probably make a short film for your partner without too much trouble. The basics of video editing are pretty easy to learn. You could cut together footage of you both from when you were in the same place and add in some of yourself declaring your undying love. Or you could film places around your city that you think your partner would like or that remind you of them. You could get more creative and film a love story meant to represent the two of you or just something unrelated to your relationship that you know that they would probably get a kick out of. Add music over the top, some snazzy transitions and there you have it, a romantic personal iMovie. 
send it to them on your anniversary or watch it together and they will love that you put so much effort into their gift. Four, play games. The options for playing games online with people have skyrocketed in the past couple of years thanks to COVID. There are endless different types of games for different tastes. You can play silly drawing or word games. You can hang out on Second Life. Or if you're interested in a more classic game experience, you can play board games. Tabletop Simulator hosts pretty much have every board game that you can really think of. Playing games is a great way to spend together. It's sociable and most importantly, really fun. Problem solving together or competing with each other is a bonding experience. Unless a uh, competition brings out the worst on you, then maybe avoid something like that. Five, write and illustrate a story. As a surprise gift, this one is great if you're a bit more creative, but you don't have to be Picasso or Hemingway or anything. Give it a shot and I'm sure the results will be worthwhile. Write a story about your perfect day together and make sure you add in lots of details and include every moment that would be really special if you were actually living that day. It could be imaginative, like a day where money is absolutely no object or your date is on Mars. Or it could just be a day that you would genuinely probably have if distance wasn't keeping you apart. If you want to put in even more effort, illustrate your story. The visual element will add a lot to the experience of reading it. As a collaborative activity, a second option would be to create this story together. Get on FaceTime and plan your perfect day. Use a joint Google Doc to write down your story together. This is a fun couple of hours where you can express the things that you wish you could be doing together and a creative exercise with a resulting beautiful or ridiculous story. Each illustrate different sections and you will end up with a collaborative masterpiece that you can treasure forever. Six, take a class. If you guys are an activities couple, always looking to learn a new skill, keep fit, or otherwise stay busy, this is the one for you. These days, there are endless online workshops and classes. You can learn anything under the sun and probably about the sun too. You could do a central yoga class, a life drawing class, a cooking class. There's something for absolutely anyone. Granted, you might not be alone for this one as they're usually group sessions, but still a really fun thing to do together and then unwind afterwards chatting together about what you just experienced. Or if you're feeling flashy, put some extra cash into a private lesson. Seven, write a love letter. A love letter is one of the ultimate romantic gestures. I'm pretty sure that anyone would love to receive one. What I'm trying to say is that writing down all of your heartfelt feelings and emotions about your partner and the year that you've had will never go unwelcome and is a great way to celebrate your love on your anniversary. You can also use the letter to talk about your future hopes and plans for the years ahead. Now, just before we move on to number eight, if you are liking this video so far, we would really appreciate if you could give this video a like and even hit that subscribe button for similar content. Now, number eight, send a care package. What is nicer than receiving a package of all your favorite things? This is a super sweet thing to do for a long distance anniversary. Fill a box with your partner's favorite snacks and add in some thoughtful gifts like books, games, or snuggly toys. Try and remember snacks that will remind them of particular days that you spent together. You could also include a love letter and some romantic gifts like scented candles or bath products. Include some photos of the two of you that you love as well. If you really want to lay it on thick, you could also include your shirt or hoodie that smells like you. Make sure everything is presented really nicely. This one is a really thoughtful long distance anniversary gift. Nine, stargazing. For this one, there have to be a few things that make it possible, like that it's night for both of you at the same time and that it's a clear night. It might not work great if one of you is in Tokyo and the other one of you is in New York. Peering up into the city smog is totally different at the same time. But hey, when it goes right, it goes great. Go for a walk around the neighborhood or if it's a nice weather, lay a blanket somewhere outside and compare the skies that you can see in front of you. 
You could even download an astronomy app that lets you actually point your phone to the sky to identify all of the different constellations. See if you can both find the same ones and discuss where they are in the sky above you. The night sky is of course pretty dreamy and while gazing up at it, tell your partner how you feel about them and about how great the last year has been with them. 10. What I love about you journal. You can buy journals online that have a plethora of questions and prompts to help you write down all of the things that you love about your partner and your relationship. Buy one for a couple of months before your anniversary and really put some time and thought into making the book something that they will really, really treasure and that will make them feel good about themselves. Whether this means cute little one-liners, inside jokes about the first awkward Tinder messages that you had, or even apologies, personalize it in a way that you know will be meaningful them to them. Post it to them on your anniversary and they will definitely love reading it on the day. 11. Make a joint playlist. If you're a couple who likes music, this is a great way to bond and enjoy your time together on your anniversary. Music is totally intertwined with experience and memory and a moving way to remember great times, whether they're in person or online. Hang out on FaceTime, reminisce about the gigs that you've been to, the songs that you've sent to each other, the places that you've danced together. Craft a long playlist that will always remind you of each other and that you can listen to any time that you're feeling the distance. 12, a scavenger hunt. This one is another one that has to be kind of set up in advance. Before you part ways, hide a handful of small gifts around their home and write riddles or clues about where you've hidden them. On your anniversary, read your partner the clues and watch them tear through their house looking for the secret presents that you've left. You can either make the clues simple or easy or really cryptic depending on what you think your partner would really most enjoy. It's super fun seeing them open gifts that they didn't even know existed that were right under their nose. This one works best if you won't be apart for too long. If it's going to be weeks or months until you see each other again, it would only work if you're really good at hiding gifts. <laughs> the last thing you want is for them to find a gift prematurely and it ruins the whole thing. 13. Quiz book for couples. A book like this is the perfect way to grow closer to your partner on your anniversary. It's full of quizzes to take about each other and will help you learn more about one another and your relationship. While on the phone or video chat, choose quizzes from the book and answer them separately. When you're done, compare your answers. It can be pretty interesting and sometimes really fun or touching to know what you've both answered. If you don't have time or the money for the book, you can also find quizzes online that will do a very similar job. You could even hop back onto Bumble despite already being together officially and have a go at night in. It's always nice to feel like you're forming a deeper bond with the person you love. 14, get help. If you have any friends or family that live close to your partner, see if they would be willing to help get involved and make your anniversary super special. Get someone to decorate their office, home or car as a surprise. I would love that one. That's such a nice idea. They could leave gifts, flowers, bake goods on your doorstep or show up in tuxedos to sing a song and deliver a heartfelt message from you or anything that you can think of that would make an impact on the special day. This can be be a load of fun and really make you feel present in your partner's day. 15. Push it back. When it comes down to it, your anniversary is just a day. The day itself means nothing compared to your whole relationship. If you prefer, I think it's totally reasonable to move your plans to the next time that you see each other, if that would make you feel happier. It's all well and good to try and make the day special. And sure, for a lot of people, that would be ideal. But if it's not you and you would prefer to make the effort and be with each other in person, then just do that. After all, you make the rules of your relationship. So I hope I've given you some food for thought on virtual anniversary ideas that you should try with your long distance relationship. And might I say, congratulations, long distance is not easy and you're clearly doing something right to know that you have made it this far. I know that any of these ideas will make your day super special and memorable. 
And there we have it guys, 15 ways to celebrate a long distance relationship. I really hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and make sure you check out our other videos. Oh, and hit that subscribe button for similar content. If it's the long distance relationship that you're looking for, make sure you check out Dude Hacks Dating App Quiz. You'll find the link in the description box below. Anyway, guys, that's all for today. Make sure you check back in soon for regular videos. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.